Okay, you know, a good helper would have already done that. A good helper would have done that already. That's right, bub. Get you those. got a good helper. <laughs> If somebody's watching us for the first time, I'm sure they just unsubscribed or something. What you get us into this time? Bub, I don't know. So, if you don't know, there's a previous video on us taking these uh, transmission pumps out of this dozer. You're probably going to ask why they were taking them out. We had a big old crack on this one back here. You guys might see that's a brand new case. They did a good job painting that, didn't they? They blended it in perfectly. Yeah. Color match. Anyway, we sent these off, got uh, new cases, got them rebuilt and everything. And uh, we've got a whole slew of freaking hoses over here. Um, this is not my machine, this is a customer's machine. They opted, I said while we're in there, we might as well put all new hoses in it. We've got new filters. We even got this little custom plastic piece here. Ooh. What's this do? I don't know. So, this bolts to the flywheel. This is always a good idea to replace when you're in here. This is all that uh, holds all the power. Can you believe that? It goes on there like that and that's holding all of 95 ponies back. <laughs> Isn't that kind of crazy? It is. It's just let's, plastic. Just, let's build everything out of steel <laughs> except for the one connecting factor. Let's make it out I of I think plastic. that's called a fuse. Uh, yeah, I can see that. And the funny thing, you guys watching last summer, we you know loggers tore that uh, winch off that dozer. Yeah. It broke the shafts in the pump, but it did not break that. <laughs> Maybe it was a little too strong. They're stronger than what you think, but. It's like my 100 amp fuse I put in my crown back. Yeah, how'd that go for you? Guess what we got in the mail? What's that? I think I know what it is. The tube. The tube. YouTube sent us something. Congratulations. You are special. It's my 100th or 1,000. Chances are it's 100,000. You're trying to be a jokester. Oh, do you remember your first subscriber? Who was it? Me? No. Oh. You are probably still a baby. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube sent us a uh, plaque for hitting 100,000 subscribers. Yeah, well, we didn't gotta... want to frame this because my fingerprints are on it now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, see, look, I already touched it. I've already touched this. Where are we going to put this at? <clears throat> Somewhere cool. Let's run it over. So do we get oh, one at, what, 500 and one at a million? When's that going to be? Uh, probably next week, I'm guessing. Well, we appreciate all you guys watching. I never would have thought I'd have one of those, but yeah. people like watching boring stuff. Mason, you gotta go carefully put that up now. What do you want? I White don't know. gloves. We're gonna have to put it on the wall or something up there. Put it on top of RC cars. Put Maybe. it right over top of dirt. Dirt perfect. perfect. Yeah, we don't care about him, right? <laughs> <laughs> he throws our hats away. <laughs> we'll stick that up there later on. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> we've got to go back because it's been what three, four weeks or something since we took this apart. Yeah. It's another one of those deals. Um. So we've got to get the hoses and fittings put back on there. We're going to get all new O-rings for all these things. And uh, we've got to pull this flywheel cover off up in here. If you remember last time, it was a big old greasy mess. Mr. Randy washed it all up, made it look pretty. So uh, I think we'll get some hoses and fittings back here. I got some pictures on my phone yet. And then uh, we'll probably hop up in there. And I think last time Hunter did this on other dozers, so... I know just the size of person that needs to get up there. Mason can be the uh, plastic you can be our coupling hunter. installer. That's right. All right. One of these things is not like the other. The part number says they're the same. They are, right? So uh, I'm right. not going to bash on those guys too hard. Our local John Deere dealer. You guys are probably wondering why I didn't make some of these hoses, which I could have, but I would have ate all my fittings up, and I can't make inch and a quarter hoses. But we got a bunch of new hoses on there, don't we? We do. I did have to make a couple. You guys can see we've got the green Eaton Weatherhead hoses. Might have that one twisted a little bit there. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, they made John Deere drop the ball. Like these ones that have the Parker ends on, those are factory hoses that come from Parker, I guess. And they were out like two or three months getting the rest of these hoses. So the local dealer, I guess they have um, a build sheet that tells them the length and stuff. So they built these other hoses off that. But uh, 
This one here doesn't bend. It's kind of like well. your fingers. Oh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Sausage. Sausage. It's a sausage hose. It's inch and a quarter hose, but it does not bend, and uh, it's an inch too long. So there's no way we even tried prying it. It's just not right. So I'm gonna send Mason in there to. Uh, they made this one. Keep, keep the door open. I know. But the problem is a short hose like that is very critical getting the right length in. But uh, yep. when they don't have an old one, you can't hardly blame them too much. But they made it longer instead of shorter. I mean, that's kind of a good thing. Almost. So, Mr. Mason, you're going to have to go back in there and, uh, yeah, tell him to make a new sausage hose that's shorter. Teach him the word mulligan. And then uh, we'll get up here and get that coupling up in there. It's going to be a fun time. All right, we're down here in the belly of the beast. I'm changing out some uh, hoses. I'm getting. We're going to replace all these down here so the next... Uh, you know, the owner has got it. You don't have to worry about hoses blowing out, so we priced it changing all of them out. Not that they would blow out, but it's, uh, when you got a winch on the back of them, it's the harder to get to, isn't it? That's right. If you didn't have a winch, I might consider not replacing them, but we got one way back up in here. We've got to get a crow's foot on. Whenever you get a crow's foot out, it's not fun at all. You show it who's boss. That's right. Tell him, say, I'm a pretty big deal. Oh, got it. Oh, I think I just knocked him out. Uh-oh. Got excited. You did it. Yeah, you did it. So, uh, I got a. You can take it out your way, Kevin. I got a wiring harness over here. Okay. Keep going. Okay. We got to go on outside and unload another army truck. So, if we wait long enough. They They'll just drive it off themselves, but I don't think that one runs, they said. Mm. We'll be back. Mm. All right, we got the truck unloaded out there. I did get uh, those hoses on there. Um, we've been working, Kevin's been back here working, putting brake hoses on. Back here in the back. We're starting to get here. We got a big old spaghetti mess. You think it's ever going to run again? <laughs> Hey, guess who stopped and seen us while ago? Yeah. Snap-on guy coming in the shop. That's right. Is that you on there? No, but this is my kind of book right here. Look. A pizza, pizza cooker. cooker. I wonder how many thousands of dollars that is. Uh -uh. He did apologize. You guys were watching our uh, previous video. He did apologize for giving us out-of-date tickets. popsicle makers? Oh, yes, they are with wrench handles. Oh, I'm starting to like this guy more and more every day. He's got snap-on grill oh, tools. Oh, bud. I thought he might give us some of these. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. Those look just like the same wrenches. Pretty much. Oh, look, there's prices in here. Look, they're even the same size. <laughs> prices, prices. 500 and, wow, $629. For three? For a 15 piece set. Uh, 15, hey. That's good. That's a lot of money. Hmm. Interesting. Well, you come in the shop for the first time since I've been here in my whole life, so I guess we're there's developing a, a relationship. Well, I guess to his, I mean, he could have tried, but um, he says a lot of shops he can't go in, so 
I guess we thought we was big time. We thought we were a big deal. Yeah, we're not really that big. <laughs> All right, I sent Mr. Mason to go get that hose, and he come back without a hose, and that wasn't a good situation, but we sent him back to town again. That's all I'm going to say about that. So we're about, it's lunchtime almost, and then uh, we're going to put this flex coupling on next. Isn't that right, Kevin? Yeah. And then we're about. Back. Yeah, hopefully he brings the hose back. He doesn't know that I'm going to be leaving in a day or so going to auction too, and I want to get it back together. So. So, bud. Yeah. Why does that look like it's the same wrench? Other than like the, the writing part, and everything is the same. Just the middle emblem. I don't know. Huh. <laughs> I was talking to Kevin. I was only almost considering buying this set just to compare to see if uh, they're the same or not. There yeah. It's four hundred dollars for that metric set. Oh, wow. We Which... probably paid what seventy nine dollars. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> it might be. A, I mean, I'm serious though. Let's see if they're exactly the same. He would be. Action! Action, what are you action? Well, Bob, in you're hole. in the hole. You don't look like Mason. Mason's not here. Oh. You gonna tell him what happened to Mason? No. He didn't come back with her hose. No, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> he will be back with a hose, he though. He will be back with the hose. Yes, no. he will. He called me to ask where he was supposed to go again. Yeah. I, I will tell you one thing. I learned time. something very important in my life at a young age. My daddy said you can learn one of two ways, by your mistakes or someone else's. And he learned today. So as long as he he'll, be, he'll be all right. Be easy on him. He's only 16. That's right. He'll get it. Okay. What okay. you got there, bub? Okay, folks. Okay. I'm going to go down in here. Going deep. down in. Way down. You going to take your friends? Our friends. We're going to put on a torsional dampener. Looks like um, 17 millimeters of flavor of the day. Hercules power. Why are we doing this right after lunch? Use a short socket for this thing. Giving me no leverage here. Well, I was going to give you this big one, but I thought you were in a, in a predicament. Give me a long handle 3 8 No. It is not. That's why we're thinkers. Remember how not fun it was to get those bolts out of the pump. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be better now that we can see them. No, it's not greasy. Yeah, she was a little buried in her own juices. This piece looks heavy. Oh, it's still stuck. Gotta get old bolts. Ah! Pry something or hammer. How about the icon dead bolt? No. Give me a pry bar. No way.
You're good. Got it. Look at you go. That's it. America. Take off my torsional dampener. Unless I hurt you, it it might shatter the plastic. Man, Randy's done so good, he's got it full of water back here. Good job, Randy. These people can see what I'm doing, but I can't. So the uh, step side goes out. Make sure those look the same. Mm -hmm. Why is that one white? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need a rag and clean this up here first. Randy's got her full of water. Mm. Got her lubed up. We're ready. Slick 50. Oh, they're going down. Steps out. Tight is it? Where are you at, boat hole? About a lineup, a little small lineup bar. I can stick here and pick it up. We, um, take this back out and clean those holes up real good. Oh, the I, you know, a good helper would have already done that. A good helper would have done that already. That's right, bub. We'll you those. ain't got a good helper. <laughs> <laughs> those four pump holes, we gotta clean those out so we can thread bolts in by hand at least. There's not much clearance. Clarence. Hey, uh, boss, I went ahead and got these things. Oh, man, you're such a good out. helper. That's what good helpers do. Yeah. So I just wanted to go above and beyond for you today. You want me to edit that clip out that just happened? Okay. <laughs> They'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, it's hard to find good help. Do you in? That's why they pay you the big bucks. That's okay. right. Okay. How much you get? Oh, there's some tools. Put that down the trash hole. See ya. You just put that down that hole and it disappears. Huh. Hey, there's that washer I was looking for. But I found another one. What else do we need to do in here? What's this hose go to? This thing here. You had to take all this loose, didn't you? What did I do? That goes in there, I take it. Yeah. Okay. Good times. Do we want to tell these people? Let me clean okay. this off here. Hold on. Let's do it. So we got the forklift out. We're deep in thought. We're waiting on Mason to bring this hose. He found he's got a hose. And I call we I called it a whale turd hose because it's real big and short. And I said he says, Have you ever seen a whale turd? No, but if I did, that's how I'd imagine it. Short and big around. 
and he looks it up on his phone. <laughs> this is what we're talking about while we're waiting on Mason. Whales can poop up to 20, 200 liters of poo per bowel movement. We want to know the size of it. Yeah. 200 liters, that's a bunch. Like, look at that. Just dropping. Oh, is that them? Yeah. <laughs> so we were thinking that noise that whales make that. Yeah, this whole time that, we thought they were trying to communicate. They're just pooping. They were actually just having a hard time getting her out. <laughs> if somebody's watching us for the first time, I'm sure they just unsubscribed or something. Hey, Uncle Scott, we're talking about whale turds over here. About what? Whale turds. <laughs> <laughs> He's going in there to make one right now. <laughs> Shut the door, you're on YouTube, bud. <laughs> hey, guess how much whales poop each time, Uncle Scott? We just convert it to American. Yeah. From liters to gallons. Oh, about uh, 45. No, you're close. 50, 52 gallons. 52 gallons of poo per time. First time I've been wrong all day. Oh, <laughs> I've been wrong all day long. <laughs> uh oh. Pooping trash cans. Okay, we're getting way off subject here. <gasps> How much was that? $263 hose. Hello, Mason. No, it's a $298. Mason, your hose. fans are disappointed. Yep. You know how many people? Mason is not my son. I've had 10,000 people. Wait, hang on a second. I'm starting to see it. What is it? The the, the bond hair. The, he does kind of look like your son just Mason a little bit. Mason is Tucker and Hunter's friend. Everybody thinks. Oh. And everybody thinks that you're related to me too. I am. I'm your stepbrother. Mason, it don't fit. Don't let these people not know this. Hey, it's the right length. Oh, we'll it's get going it to fit. It. All right. Good job, Mason. Good job, Mason, on your second try. Plus one. Town's just right next door, right? That's right. Okay, we're about ready to stab this beast in there. What about three quarter inches? Do we get any of those? You just brought yourself up there. I feel like we need these curved ones too, don't we? I, rem I remember this day all too well. You remember this? Uh -uh. I'll just grab a bunch of three-quarter things. You know, you're trying to have babies up there with the Milwaukee water. Okay, Mason. Stab her in there. Look out. Go up, Mason. Up. Okay. Come on in. Easy, bud. There we go, down. Go down a little bit. All right. What do you need? Come on in. Come on in. Oh, but I'm hitting here. How about that? Let me come up here. What you need? Come on in just a little. Cut your wheels. There you go, come in just a little. Oh, oh. You gotta go down. Okay, you got your pump lines and everything. Happy, happy. Yep. Come on down easy. Down. Seat 
What's that line you got back here? Something that was on top, obviously. There we go. Pretty good. Oh, 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 we're hitting up here. There we go. Uh, side shift over a little bit. Get them off of it. No. Yep. Hang on. You can a little way up. Can you side shift? There you go. Oh, that's good. Now go down. What do you say? Yeah, ain't hitting. You just gotta hit Clinton. Come on down. If we ought to um, set him down there and put a chain in there and make that longer so he ain't right here in my way, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Come on down, Mason. What are you doing? I got it. Mason, let's go down. Go down? Yeah, don't go up. I don't want to rip the... <laughs> All right, we got, the, we got the pump in here. I got the bolt snugged up. I had to get down in the hole again. Okay. These little dozers are way harder to work on than the big ones. Back, that way. Huh? I better get down before he takes me out. Straight back. Straight back. There you go, bud. All right, I don't finish tightening these up. Okay. I I get that. Don't worry. Yeah. Sure you do. Did we get it? Oh, we nailed it. We only put the hoses on like four times the wrong way. And it uh, sucks it, when you... It may only pull to the right. We, it may go the wrong way. It may go the... It may just drive in circles. <laughs> all right, all we got left is the hydraulic pump, which goes back here. Mm -hmm. We think we got everything tight. Got all new lines, nice and shiny. Mm -hmm. Are we putting the hydraulic pump in today? It's getting kind of late. Mm. Hmm. It's like something you do first thing in the morning. When you, when we you need to zip tie full this. Of stamina. Zip tie this harness back here. Okay. But yeah, we're getting there. I think uh we may regroup and get the pump in the morning. Okay. Sound like a plan? Yep. Yep. All right, we're back. It's the next day. We're all rejuvenated. Fired up. Fired up, not really. We're going to stick your hydraulic pump in there. I think we're just going to manhandle it. 
throw a strap around it and uh, stab it in here. It's not super heavy. It's more awkward than anything. So get some lights on here. A baby. I got one dead. Oh, no, nope, it's not. Mm -hmm. Do we find the bolts for that thing? No. Uh, yeah. Uh, I got two bolts. Are those American? Yeah. There should only take four. Why is there five there? Mason and help him. All right, got the pump on there. I got the two the feed and the pressure line on there. I think the last set of hoses right here. We got four new test hoses. They got remote ports up here to uh, test pressures on the drive motors going forward in reverse. So went ahead and throwed four new lines on that. Uh, Kevin put new brake lines, brake hoses on here, so everything is 100% new as far as hose-wise back here, so hopefully, you know, no problems with that. So he's going to get those hooked up up there, then blow air through them so I know which one's which, so the sticker matches up there for the next guy that has to do some testing. And uh, I think we're ready to put oil in it and Drive it. maybe fire it up. So we'll fire it up before we put the winch on it. We'll have to calibrate the transmission and all that cool stuff and make sure everything's perfect before we throw the winch back on here. Did you get her full? Still going up. All right, we're filling her up to the high marks. We're about ready to start this dude up. We're going to check the leaks. Still got the seat up yet. If I don't see any leaks and it acts like it's going to move, and then we'll uh, fasten the seat heater back up there, put the seat down, and... Uh, I'll take her outside, get her warmed up, and we'll try to calibrate it. Uh, you got to calibrate the transmission so she drives straight and all that stuff. It's got to be done through the transmission controller up there. Hopefully that all goes well. And if that all works, we can put all this stuff back on. All right, here we go. Stuff it's stuck in limp mode. You know, it won't idle up, and that's why it was trying to truck at idle, you know. Yeah. So hopefully we can calibrate that thing and get that out of that. Well, you see no leaks down there. It went forward when I put it in forward and backwards when I put it in backwards. Yep. I guess we'll put this uh How's that thing fastened to the bottom of here first? Uh, it, it just sits. Or sits there, don't it? Sits there and then the bolts go through. For the do we want to put anything on the back of this winch pump? We can do that from back here. Uh, we can do it all from back here. Yeah. We should be good. Okay. Should be golden. Golden, golden. Where's the plug at for this though? Back here. 
we get to that from out there. I think. I guess so. Oh, we can reach it right through there, can't you? Go ahead and get that plugged in. fire us up and take her outside hopefully get too far. I'm gonna set this blade down Kevin. We didn't even make it out of the shop. Something just blew. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna have to wire it back up. Watch yourself there Mason. Can you see anything or? I do not but. What was it? I see an awful lot of oil coming off the bottom side of that transmission. Well, I seen right here and I shut it off real quick, but I'm going to start it up again and see. You have to watch your eyeballs. Eyeballs. Okay, go ahead. See anything? Where it from? What? Where from? Uh, I didn't see anything like from that. From down on the bottom side here. It's hitting this L bracket here and coming off. I think that's just residual. Where's it coming from? I'm seeing it leaking. Down off that. It looks like the seam or something down low. Mason, get a mirror. Bob, we were so motivated today. Little Mason's over there just sweeping. Now we're heartbroken. You gonna tell your friends what happened again? Uh, well, take two. We had an instant replay. Hmm. Another hmm. crack case. Apparently we have a return line issue. Hmm. It's building up pressure. I don't know. Maybe something's wrong inside the pump. Hmm. Do you know? No, I have no idea. I felt pretty good about this repair. Yeah, so it split the case. You guys watched the first video. It cracked it in the same exact spot. And I had the guys at the pump shop put a new housing in there. And they used some old parts. I guess old parts put new bearings in it. But I don't know if it's them. I think we've got a, what do they call this? It's a bypass, bypass valve. Bypass valve. It's a bypass valve for the oil the cooler. It lets the oil go back to the tank to heat the oil up quicker. So the transmission heat up quicker. There's a, a thermostat and a spring in there. So we're going to take that apart and see if there's something wrong in there. The guys at the pump shop said sometimes they see a restriction in the hose that causes that. That's the reason why we put new hoses on. I don't know. I've never run into this. <laughs> it's awkward. <laughs> I guess we're going to take it back apart, bud. Take two. Mm. 
Stay motivated, bub. That's hard. <laughs> Action! Alright. I got you this one. Oh, I got a little one. I got you this one. What are you going to do? So, we're going to go ahead and yank this pump back out. We know it's broke. We're going to try to leave the hydraulic pump. The oil's already in there. We're going to try to just dangle it back here. We'll get this pump out, and then we'll look at that bypass valve, because I think that's the only thing in this system that could cause us problems. If it's not that, then it's got to be something in the pump, maybe. i got to talk to the pump for this, too. So. It's not good. Alright, Bub, I felt like we've done this before. Well, you went to lunch and I worked all the way through lunch. I'm pretty sure they know who's who under here. Oh, oh is that right? <laughs> you got husky arms and bird arms. You got to have. Husky. <laughs> I told you, call me muscular. Quit muscular. Call me husky. <laughs> me deep. Where's your line? I think we're fighting the line here. Oh, I thought it got you. You flossed oh. me right in the middle. Oh, God, we got our new strap in the oil. <laughs> I did. There you go. I mean, what a mess. It is never going to be. Ring it out. There we go. Oh. Well, at least it's not oily enough. It's good, clean oil. Yeah. All right. Mason, where are you at? You want to change? No, I think we can just forklift that can't we Kevin yep. maybe yep I'm gonna stay out of the way we'll get her out of there we did get our other valve out we got to inspect it too That's good, Mason. Back on up, easy. Good thing that's a Milwaukee. You got pig mat there, Kevin. Hang on there, Mason. Whoa. Straight 4L60, eat it, bub. Whoa, the fire truck's loading up. Hunter just texted me and said there's another big army truck on its way. Well, guess what? She's cracked again, boys. Where's that valve at we need to take apart? Got to, this is getting very expensive real quick. Alright, so this is the only thing that we can think of that may be clogged up. So what this is, this is a bypass valve when the transmission oil is cold it actually circulates it back in the tank there's a thermostat in here according to the parts thing once it gets up to 140 degrees or so it starts opening up and lets oil out so there, your return oil from your brakes and your transmission pumps are coming in here you see it says inlet and there's a bypass spring and they'll just shoot back to the tank till it gets um, warm and when this thermostat opens up it uh, starts going out here through the engine cooler then it comes back and loops out and goes back to the tank. So only thing I can think of, there's some kind of restriction in there. That means that spring would have to be clogged up, bad or something. So we're bound to find out real quick. Yep. 
The spring's a lot bigger looking than in the picture. <laughs> yeah, it's just four little lines in the picture. <laughs> oh, that's a small block Chevy thermostat. Oh, what we got going on here? Is it broke? Something doesn't seem right there, does it? All right, so I think we found the culprit. You learn something new every day. I should have checked this. I didn't uh, quite realize this how this worked, but so this has come apart in there. There's a thermostat in there, like I said, and uh, basically that oil is supposed to bypass and go out these holes right here. You guys can see we've got some wearage. What's happened? There's a uh, kind of a set screw in there. This thing's supposed to ride. It's got a flat spot there. It's supposed to ride on that set screw and what's happened it's coming in and got cocked sideways which has blocked all those ports off thus letting no oil return so uh, it's been doing that and it's probably why it busted that apart from there it was trying to push that thermostat open I don't know why that failed or why that happened but you can see that flat spot there it's supposed to just slide back on that and not spin but it somehow slid back got cocked and had all those bypass ports load off so Expensive, expensive mistake. I guess we learned something. You learned something one of two ways. <laughs> At least we found the problem. That's all I got to say. Yep. The problem is we didn't know what this dozer was doing, or what it, you know, what they were doing with that white cracked, and it's bad when you get something in like this. So, anyway, hopefully the YouTube pays for it, right? Now we know. <laughs> We're going to wrap this one up here. We're going to have to send that pump back, get a whole new case if we can get one. I know they said there was only like one in stock at the time, so if that's the case, I may have to go to John Deere, and that gets real pricey real quick. So, And we're definitely going to get a new one of those. For sure. Mason, uh, when you get your check on Friday, don't try to put it in, okay? Yeah, you can only look at it for a few weeks. <laughs> it's not looking good, folks. <laughs> You know we can make this run without that too, right? That's right. Just no thermostat? Full like flow. it did in the old way? Full flow, Bob. Oh, well, anyway, hopefully you liked us screwing up again. It happens. It seems like it's been happening a lot lately. <sighs> but we're getting good at taking it apart, that's for sure. That's right. Is that another army truck? Nope. No. I got a text that another army truck's coming down the road. So, anyway, if you guys liked the video today, do me a big favor. Give me a thumbs up. That way... We can help cover the cost and some of this stuff. So, so we can cover little Mason's paycheck. So Kevin and Mason can get paid. So I ain't been paid for you. <laughs> and uh, if you guys not subscribed, you want to see this thing going back together, and hopefully we don't fail the, what, third time? Yeah. Second time? I don't know. You might consider subscribing so you don't miss out on that. But got plenty of Army Truck action coming up and all kinds of cool stuff. So we will see you guys next time.